Today we're talking about workspaces in Felt, and I want to give you three major tips in particular of how to set up your workspace to make the most of all of our organizational features. Now, first things first, let's have a quick look at the Felt homepage. In the top left, this is where you'll see the name of your current workspace. And this is actually a drop-down menu where you can manage all of your workspace settings. Think of things like adding collaborators and managing your storage. Generally speaking, most users will only have one workspace for their organization. Just below the workspaces drop-down menu, you'll find Recents. And as the name implies, these are your recent maps. Over here on the right, you can customize both the filter and view options to your heart's content. Underneath Recents, you'll find Drafts. Don't worry, only you can see your drafts. When you're ready to go live with the map, simply move it into a project. What's a project, you say? Well, a project is simply a group of maps that your whole team can access. And you can further organize your maps into folders. All right, now let's get to those tips. Tip number one, projects should align with your company's workflows. For example, if you're using Felt as a consultant or a sales rep doing account-based work, you might want to set up your projects to match those accounts. If you're using Felt for internal projects, you may want to organize those projects by team. Tip number two, make use of private projects. Now, private projects are really great because they let only a select group of people have access to the maps inside of them. As an example, let's say you're mostly collaborating internally. You could make sure only a certain team has access to that set of maps. Or if you're collaborating externally with consulting or sales accounts, you can add external stakeholders to private projects without giving them access to your entire workspace. This is much easier than the alternative of having to add them to each individual map you create for them. Tip number three, publish to the library. One of the really great things about Felt is that there is a shared library your whole team can use as needed. It's a great place to store authoritative data layers that are pre-styled so no one is wasting time making layers look great. When getting started in Felt, it's a great idea to publish these commonly referred to data sets like parcel, boundary, or proprietary POI data to your library so your team can work quickly. Really, the best way to get comfortable with this is to just jump right into Felt, create a workspace, set up some projects, add some maps, create some data layers, and before you know it, you're gonna figure out which workflow is best for you. 